Uh, this week you got Stanislaus uh, up next. Uh, just one game this week. Uh, so how is it? You know, instead of you know getting ready for that Thursday game, you're just getting for a, for a solo game on uh, on Saturday. Yeah, it's a, it's a luxury just to have one game uh, to prepare for for the week. It's a it's a plus that way for our guys. Uh, the wear and tear, uh, you know, the management of, of of a long season and guys, you know, a little banged up or. Uh, just getting an extra rest and staying at home, being able to uh, be in class up until Friday morning is going to be a positive too. So there's a, there's a lot uh, that's good about that. The negative is we got to go all the way to Turlock and back, and that's not an easy trip. It's a lot a lot of miles, uh, but we'll get into town early and we'll rest up and we'll have a good practice down there Friday night. We'll prepare correctly on Saturday and go to work. That's obviously not the way you wanted to have the season go. Uh, obviously a, a, a difficult season, but. Two games remaining. How do you guys like like to finish up? Yeah, we want to finish strong. Uh, we want to do that. Number one for the seniors and uh, returning players. It's important to continue the culture and work hard and try to get better every game. Uh, we've certainly um, been on the short end of the stick as far as winning games lately, but uh, that doesn't mean we can't go out two and zero at the end of the season. So that's what we're striving for. That's what we're working for. What have you seen? I mean, not talking record-wise, but what kind of growth have you seen from this team this season? What kind of growth have you seen where, hey, this is great, or this is looking good, and, and man, next year to have these guys back is going to be very good. Yeah, the growth is uh, it's promising. Uh, obviously, Isaiah Pope, uh, as a freshman, is playing extremely well and will be a candidate for freshman of the year in the CC2A. Uh, we hope that uh, everybody across the board there recognizes that and he gets votes. So that's definitely a... Uh, staple. He has a nice foundation to uh, bounce off of uh, for the next four years. We also have four other freshmen in the program, two that are playing and then two that are redshirting. So they uh, they also are uh, fun to coach. Uh, they're happy to be here at Humboldt State and they're certainly talented. Um, talking about the game about Stanislaus this week, uh, it's the second time you guys have faced in the season. What do you remember uh, about them? They're just solid. Uh, they do everything well. Uh, nothing uh, spectacular as far as shooting or, or defense. They're just solid. You look at their stats and then you, you look at the videotape and uh, they don't get themselves in too much trouble. Uh, they've got a coach who's fiery that keeps them intense uh, from the get-go to the end of the game. And uh, Coach Travis has done a great job with this team and they're right there in the mix. I mean, if they, I think they're playing for possible home court advantage there for the CC2A. They probably have to win out, uh, but they're right in the mix. Do you look at it as a game where obviously you want to win, but hey, maybe make it a little more difficult for them? Maybe a little spoiler, you're just looking at this as a, you, you want to you know, win, win this game? Yeah, there are a lot of factors. There's a lot of uh, probably uh, storylines to the game, and our, our, on our trip down there, we'll probably address a few of those, and the guys will talk about that in the van ride for sure. Uh, it'll be motivating uh, to talk about those storylines up until game time.